Joining us virtually is Tomi, a Nigerian, French, Canadian based singer songwriter. Her half, um, her half a decade musical journey is marked by her debut project titled One With Self, released on SoundCloud in 2015. She quit her 9 to 5 in 2019 for full time music and now with a sophomore album titled BT4W, an acronym for Bigger Than Four Walls. Hello, Tomi. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. Mm. So I took time to read your profile and I realized you're working with an NGO, a children-based NGO to help um, cushion the effect of COVID-19. Would you want to share that with us before we move on to your music? Yeah, we, um, we had started that early in the whole COVID period and um, it actually was a privilege for me to be able to help and I was really grateful that from Canada I was able to spread some sort of aid back home and so I had partnered up with Medic NG um, to raise money for a food drive and um, basically we raised for an entire month so that was in the month of April and within a full month we were able to raise $1,200, $1,234 and we were able to feed up to six communities in Ibejuleki so um, and I believe a little bit more near 400 people. So I was, um, I was really grateful that I was able to do that because I understand that things are a lot harder back home um, when it comes to this COVID and, and everyone being in lockdown, but yet not having been provided with enough supplies um, to be okay in their own home. Um, so any way that I was able to help, I was glad I was able to. And that was um, through the food drive that I did with the uh, medic. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I think it's yeah. it's very important to be a conscious musician. So I agree to everything that you're doing and just want to say Thank well you. done for that. Your music is Thank something you. that hasn't necessarily reached everywhere. And despite yeah. that, that you're not necessarily like there yet, you've decided to leave your nine to five and then pursue this music. So you believe in this sound, you believe in your sound. Can you just tell us a bit more yeah. about that and why we should also jump on board? Yeah, I mean, um, for me, music has always been something that I've wanted to do. And so, but I just never wanted to come out without a team. I didn't want to come out without um, any understanding or any backup behind me. I, I still understand what this industry is all about in that sense. So there was a big break between 2015 and 2019 before I decided to leave work. Um, and that was because I now had the team um, and finances to be able to move independently, mm. um, which is what really started the journey. And really and truly, a big reason as to why I, I had to quit was because it was either that or they were going to fire me. We, mm. were, we were touring a lot. We were out constantly. So I was constantly missing work. Um, so it was kind of just like, I need to go. I think that I'm already doing so much more as an artist full time than working at this full time job. Um, so that was one of the main reasons I was like, this is it, let's do it, because I had the opportunity to move and to be able to perform and improve my sound. And coming up to the sophomore album now, I know that I've done a lot within the last year to solidify in my own mind that this is what I need to do. Um, and, you know, of course, it'll come with it, ups and lows. I might not be there yet, but I don't have to be to, mm -hmm. to pro prevail Great. in where I need to be, you know? I think Great. that that comes with belief that comes with hard work that comes with your ethic well and said. for me i know that well yeah said. for well me said. i know that i will i will make it i don't need to be there to do to 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 take on the risk you know i don't think you will ever gain success without risk all right well said so, yeah. so um on your instagram you refer to yourself as the girl who sings on wednesdays so why is that <laughs> it was literally just a joke. I was just like, I only sing on Wednesdays. That was it. It was like, there was no, um, it wasn't, it wasn't anything specific. Although I do catch myself like doing a lot of performances and stuff on Wednesdays, okay. oddly enough. But there was no like, oh, I only sing on Wednesdays. It was just a joke. All right, I was so, just trying to play so that's a side yeah. question. I see you've been working with a lot of, um, Nigerian celebrities like Zlatan, Runtown, even Gamma, Ghana, King Promise as well. But don't you think yeah. um, your music would be doing a whole lot better if you were out here than being in Canada? Because how successful do you think you can become doing music all the way from Canada? Oh, for sure. I mean, um, I definitely believe that if we were back home, it would be a lot more 
um, accessible. I'd be a lot more accessible to the people. Mm. But, you know, as per our circumstances, we are here. <laughs> and that's really just the reality. You know, we were moving a lot last year. I came by Nigeria last um, in December and we were planning to come back. We were planning to be touring in Africa and doing a lot more. Um, but, you know, then COVID happened. But once again, I was like, we, we just thought to ourselves, there's no reason for us to put everything on pause just because it's happening. People are ready to listen. doesn't matter where you are in the world, right? This is the time, regardless, to put a project out. Um, so we did it anyways. And I know that, of course, it is a little bit, it is kind of delaying certain things. But I still believe that within our circumstances, it's, um, it's still reaching quite a good amount so of people. So post-COVID, are um, we going to be seeing you a whole lot more in Nigeria? Definitely. Great. Definitely. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about BT4W. That's, um, what's the full meaning again? Beyond, bigger than four bigger than So where, where did that come from? Because yesterday we had someone who gave us an amazing, uh, interesting side to the title of Obviously, his um, yeah. album, or his EP. So where did that come from for yeah. you? Yeah, bigger than four walls. Um, I we I was making a lot of music last year, and to actually come down to these ten songs on the project, it took a little bit of time. But I always knew that the music I had been making was better, more colorful, more full of sound, and so automatically I knew that this project had to be different. Now, going from my first project, Tommy's Room, that's what really influenced. Um, using bigger than four walls because I'm now allowing you to see mm. improvement. I'm allowing to, you to see something bigger than me, a range and diversity that isn't necessarily common. So I thought to myself, it's bigger than four walls. Mm. So it, and it, the, the title is Moving with the Journey. Maybe the next one will be saying Global correct. Global Tommy. Hey. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy's world. <laughs> okay, our, ti our time is almost up, but we needed to do some singing. Say 30 seconds before we go. Okay. Um, all right, I'll sing a cappella free, okay. my song free. I can't run away from home. I'm running, I'm running, I'm gone. I'm running, I'm running, ah. I'm running, I'm running, I'm gone. I'm running, I'm running, ah. I'm running, I'm running, I'm gone. And I can't run away from home. I'm running, I'm running, I'm gone. Aww, <laughs> that's, that's, actually that's running beautiful. out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing tea with us, Tommy. Thank to you, Tommy. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, and that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and do send your opinions, like I always say, to WhatsApp um, on this number 0906005719 or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Yes, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.